Hey, what's up, Doc? Rabbits, that's what's up. And now I'm going to teach you how to make this one complete with the carrot. <laughs> how cool is that? Now I want to show you a few things on this little guy um, before we start twisting. Now I want want you to zoom in a little bit and take a look at his eyes. Now I'm I'm no artist, remember. I'm a balloon artist, but I don't draw as well as maybe some of you out there. But uh, these eyes are a little bit different. And if you were uh, one of the lucky people that got Wow Balloons One, Minnie Mouse's eyes are real similar to these. And I would also suggest that when you do Sylvester, try uh, try these eyes on Sylvester as well. I think you'll be uh, real happy with how they look on that uh, cat creation as well. Okay? We're going to do the carrot too on this one. So now I'm going to set him aside and we'll get started. Okay, buddy. I'll be back later. Here we go. We're going to use a gray 260. And by the way, I haven't told you, but I... Uh, generally use Qualitex balloons. Uh, I find they work about the best for me. Uh, I have a few exceptions to that. I do like the black in the bed of latex and they make a really nice chocolate brown and a mocha brown as well too. So that's about the only deviation I do. And in this creation we're going to use one 160. They're real small uh, but they they make a real nice top for that carrot. So let's start with the the Bugs Bunny first though, okay? We're going to use our gray 260. We're going to inflate it all but about oh inch and a half or two inches. And remember to burp the balloon so it's a little bit soft. Let's take our measurement. We're going to get that handful first, about three and a half inches. Followed by an inch. We'll hold it alongside there and get another three and a half inch bubble. And then we're going to twist the knot around the base of that. And remember, we go through the two loops with the knot a couple times just to hold that in place. Here twist the top knot. You guys should be getting used to this by now. Okay? Now let's take about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half bubble for the neck. Very nice. You're doing great. Okay? Now let's just fold this up and let's squeeze the air up close to the tip of that balloon there, okay? Now I'm going to take that and wrap that around there just about once. Now we're going to let the air out of that uninflated portion with our envelope opener. And now, remember, we're going to tie just a half knot there around there so it can't come untwisted. And if you have enough room, oh, I don't on this. I would have tied another knot because you know me, I'm superstitious. This one, we're not going to let the air leak. <laughs> okay. Now, we're going to set this down for a minute. We're going to take a white 260 that's inflated all but about two inches. Maybe two and a half. I might have a little bit too much air in that. We'll see. I'm going to squeeze the air up to the knot end to start with. And remember, I've burped that so it's nice and soft, okay? Let's start by making the rabbit's cheeks. Let's make about a two and a half inch fold twist. You can go three if you wanted. And then we're gonna hide the knot inside the first one. And we'll make a second, oh, two and a half inch fold, fold twist. They're not real big, but we're gonna use these for the cheeks. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put those around the back of the head right now. We'll bring them to the back and we'll just cross them once. That's enough. They can't get away from there now, okay? Now here's the tricky part. Not really, it's not that hard. We're gonna make another two and a half inch fold twist to make the bottom part of his mouth, okay? I guess you could maybe do that first with the two cheeks if you wanted. I just always do it that way, so that's the way I'm showing you. <laughs> okay, so you got it? A cheek? That cheek, and this is going to be the lower part of the mouth. So now let's do his muzzle. Let's take about a three inch bubble, two and a half to three inch, okay? And now let's do a, oh, about a half inch bubble, a little more if you like. We're going to do two of those. These are going to be his buck teeth, okay? Two of those, and now let's make another two and a half inch uh, bubble 
to the other side of his muzzle. Okay, now I'm going to bring that in alongside and twist that together. You'll see when you start doing it. So we hold, hold these two pieces together at the base of the head, okay? You're getting a lot of, a lot of 260 here. I, I'm going to pull this to the back so I can show you. Okay, we have a cheek here, a cheek here, and then we have uh, the bottom of the mouth here, and then the muzzle, and these two uh, three-quarter inch bubbles are going to be the buck teeth, okay? But we're not going to do the teeth just yet. We're going to bring that white 260 back around to the front. I'm going to lay it upside the back of the head here and twist it around the top knot to make one of the eyes, okay? And uh, boy, I've just about got too much air in that balloon, but we'll see if we can get it done. If not, I got more. Okay, so I laid the white one up there on the back of the head and twisted it for an eye. Now I'm going to measure, well, I'm going to lay this down alongside measure and twist another eye, then I'm going to rotate the head around the lock in place, okay? We've made enough creations together, you should be getting used to this. I've got my second eye here, and I'm just going to rotate the head around and lock them both together, okay? I'm going to bring this portion of the white to the back of the head. I'm just going to pinch a little bubble in back that. We're going to release the air from that. We don't need any more of that. And we're going to wrap it around one of the cheeks a couple times. And we're going to come around the other cheek a couple times. And yes, you guessed it, we're going to tie a knot in it. And then we'll trim off the excess. have it. Now before we make the, the teeth and put the nose on, I'm going to draw the eyes in real quick and then we'll let you have another look at that. And I know you people are real creative and so you might even come up with some eyes that you like better on this creation or even on all of them. And please feel free to be as creative as you want with them. Now we'll zoom in on that. You can, you can see the eyes maybe a little better on this one. Okay. Hey, if you come up with a great idea, take a picture and email it to me, would you? <laughs> Thanks. Okay, now let's do the nose. I've taken a pink 260 and I cut it in half to start with because I only need just a little bit, about three-quarter inch bubble at the very end of it. And then we'll tie a knot. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that. I'm going to lace that through the muzzle here, right behind those two bubbles that are going to form the teeth, okay? And now we're going to, I'm going to say ear twist this, for lack of a better term, but we're going to twist from this point to this point. We're going to twist those two bubbles side to side, okay? They don't want to stay there very well, okay? It's probably a little hard to see. And then we're going to slide the nose, the pink balloon, right up to them and pull it tight. Okay? Then we're going to take the pink and we're going to run it all the way down the bottom of the muzzle and we're going to wrap it around one of the cheeks. So we're going to pull it really tight as we do that. I'll show you why I'm going to Pull it nice and tight so we can hold the buck hold the buck teeth down a little bit, okay? And that'll keep them from wanting to come untwisted as well, or it should, okay? I'm gonna wrap the pink around the other cheek just a little bit, and then I'm gonna trim that off. I don't need to tie another knot in it because I already had one at the base of the bubble. Okay? You got it? Okay, you're doing good. And remember, you can always back up and start it over. Practice, practice, practice. Same way you get to Carnegie Hall is the way you, you master making balloon sculptures. Wow, I really like this one. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I'm going to need another white one. I've inflated this all but about two inches. Actually, I did that so I'd have a spare when I did the face in case it popped. We don't need nearly that much, but that's okay. We'll shorten it up. We're going to take the knot end and twist it around the neck here. 
a couple times and go around the other sections too so you lock it in there nice and tight okay now I'm going to take the gray the gray loop and I'm going to twist a little fold twist in the base of that maybe a three inch three and a half inch loop just a little bit make it just a little bigger than that. Okay, let's take four inches of that, okay? Now that's going to come untwisted if we let go. We're going to take the white, and we're going to lay it down on the front of the gray to the top of that little bubble we just made, and we're going to twist that white in there. Now I'll hold that so you can see. We have the, the white here in the center of the belly, and then the two gray pieces on either side. This is actually going to be the tail, and we'll be in the back when we're finished, okay? Now, we want to put a little bit of the white balloon inside this little loop we created, okay? So we're going to release all the air except for about an inch bubble here, okay? We take our envelope opener, we put a hole in there. Now we'll release that air. And hold it up there and see we get about right. That looks like it's going to be pretty darn close. So I'm going to tie that off and we'll trim off the excess, like so. And then I'm going to take the white and I'm going to roll it just to about the middle of that gray. Now let's, so it doesn't come untwisted, I'm going to roll it through the body just once, okay? Doesn't matter which section of the body you go through, any one of three will be okay. Now can you see that? We have the gray on the outside and the white on the inside. And that's going to be the tail. I guess I should have showed you that on the first one, but I'll show you on this one when we get it finished, okay? Now let's see here. Let's take another gray 260 that's inflated all but just a tiny little bit, quarter inch, half inch, it'd be just fine. Keep it nice and soft, okay? Now let's trim the knot down close. We'll squeeze the air up to the end. Take about an inch bubble, a careful measurement, another handful, about three and a half inches. Fold that down, get another three and a half inches, and roll the one inch bubble through. Squeeze the air to the other end of the balloon now. Twist a one inch bubble, a handful, about three and a half inches. We'll fold that down, get another three and a half inches, and roll the one inch bubble through. Wow, isn't that easy? Now let's find the middle of that. See how close we can. Look at that, perfect. Now we're gonna lace this through between the gray and the white sections on the body. And we'll just give those legs a twist around about once. It's not gonna take a whole lot. Now we can rub the legs there and bend them in just a little bit if you want. Okay, now before I go any farther, I'm gonna have you take a look at the tail. See how the tail sits on that? I turn it sideways and it kind of helps to stabilize the sculpture. It looks like a tail now, okay? Great. Now let's set him down. We're going to grab another gray balloon, 260 again. Inflate it all but about an inch, nice and soft. We don't need the balloon this long. We're going to make the hands out of it, but we'll adjust it shorter as need be. Now let's trim that knot end off. This one we're going to make the hands uh, similar to how we make the hands on on a Sylvester or even on Minnie Mouse, only we're not going to utilize any ear twists with this one. So let's twist about a three-quarter inch bubble, followed by an inch bubble, and a second inch bubble, and then a third inch bubble, okay? And then we're going to take, I'll show you, we have the four, we're going to twist from this point to this point. We're going to leave one bubble out and twist the other three together to make the, the paw, okay? You got that? Okay. And then this first bubble sits on the back to stabilize it. Now I'm going to make this arm about as long as the body, maybe just slightly longer, not much. And I'll twist that in the center so I know where that is. And then about where the other hand should start, okay? And then this hand will just build backwards. So we'll go one inch, a one inch, and a one inch, the three one inch bubbles, and we'll 
We'll lock those together, and then we'll release the air out of this section until we have about three quarter inch bubble left. We'll take our envelope opener, put a hole in that. Release the air down. That looks pretty darn close. Tie a knot there and let's trim off the rest. And then I'm going to roll that bubble through if I can. There we go, just to lock it. Now let's find the center of that balloon. It looks pretty good. Wow, I'm doing things right tonight. Now we're going to twist that around the base of the neck. And then I'll position it between the, the gray sections and the white sections, hold them in place, see? And I always like to have the hands pointing upward, but that's just personal preference. Give the arms a little bit of a twist, to give them a little bend. You know, something else I don't do on this one, but you might think about it, you could always put an ear twist back here, too, at the base of the the head or the top of the neck and that, that would actually push his head forward just a little bit more if you, if you think that would look better. I think it looks fine the way it is, but that might be something for you to consider. Okay, let's see here. We got to make some ears now. So we're going to take yet another gray 260 inflated all but about an inch and a half. You could actually inflate a little bit more. But let's squeeze the air up to close to the end of that. We'll make these soft because we're going to curb this. Now let's just tie the two ends together. That. And now if you have questions, just raise your hand and I'll call on you. <laughs> Actually, if you got questions or comments, email me. I'll get back with you. I, I try to check my email every day. Love to hear from you. Okay. Now let's find the center of that. This this one's really soft now. Let's find the center of that and we're going to twist that in half so we have two loops, okay? Now we're going to, whoops, come back here, bugs. We're going to twist these right around the base of this top knot here, okay? And I'll just cross them once. That's all you have to do. That'll lock them in place. Position that top knot in the center to stabilize those. Now I'm going to take the ears, kind of like I do the arms and the legs, to give them a little shake. Whoops! I bustulated it. You can use that word. That's okay, because i got a spare. Let me cut this other section out, and we'll fix it. Hey, didn't we have to patch a piece in on that cat? I'm thinking we did. Well, that's probably a good experience for you. Because I kept telling you you could do it. Now I have to do it, don't I? Good thing I had an extra already inflated. So let's tie that knot. We'll try that again. And you know what? If I break this one, I'll inflate another and we'll go again. Because we just about got him done. Okay, let's find the center of that one again. There we go. Okay, we're back to the top knot. One more time. Okay, you gonna behave this time, buddy? Okay. Curve that up a little bit. We'll see how he looks. Oh, I think he's looking rather dashing, rather dashing. Okay, but I'm gonna set him, set him down for just a minute. Might even get out of sight for you. Because I wanna show you the carrot. You know, I didn't always add a carrot to this rabbit. About a few years back, I thought, you know, Bugs Bunny's all about carrots, and so he ought to have a carrot. So I, I take an orange 260, and I cut it in half to start, and then I'll inflate the tip end of it, and then I'll release air so it's very, very soft. It makes it a little thinner. Leave about a half inch on top after you tie the knot. And twist about an inch bubble, three quarters of an inch to an inch, and then we're going to ear twist this end to end, okay? Now we're going to set this aside for a moment. And this is where the 160 comes in. Green 160. Okay, I usually use these just for uh, fishing line. Hey, you know what? <laughs> I already have one inflated. So let's inflate it all but oh, a couple inches, okay? And I released a little air out of that, so it's, it's a little bit soft. We're going to tie the ends together. 
and then trim that. And this measurement doesn't have to be exact. I take about a third of that balloon and I twist it, and then I just divide what's left in half. So I have three loops. Now I'm going to use those on top of the carrot, okay? So we're going to take our ear twist and position that right in the center. You might want to go around one of the, one of the leaves there just once to, to lock it in place. Okay. And now just like we did the ears on top of the rabbit, just fold those up a little bit. Fold them over and rub them a little bit. Gives them a little, little shape. Okay. And if you wanted, you could take your marker and put a couple lines on the carrot. Make it a little more authentic. I'm not going to do that today for our video purposes. And then you can just wrap that in the head. Okay. Give me just a minute here to get him all. Look at that. I got my greenery upside down. And there we go. Bugs Bunny complete with carrot. Now how cool is that? I know you're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Thanks for watching.